Morning, everybody. Time is 6.03. Had my cereal and my four cups of coffee. <laughs> I'm going to have some more coffee in a bit. I get up at 4.30 here, bright and early. So we have another Kenwood TL922. A. I'm going to go through it and fix everything. Needs filter caps. You can see the reliefs are popping. I'll put a new Harbach board in there with screw in caps. Needs all the mods done. Wants the 10 meter mod done. Stock. Van switch looks okay. So, also wants the soft key. So, I'm going to go through it, get everything done. So, ampreparegrad.com, also harbachelectronics.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to move it over to the work area and get started. See you guys in a long while. <laughs> Stay tuned. So we're back with the completed 922. This thing was a lot of work. I'll explain why after. So, a customer wanted a video on 20 meters, so I'm going to show it working. Got the 2500 watt slug, it's on PEP, amps wired for 120, so a little bit more voltage sag on the plate, it requires a little more drive. Radio set uh, about 100 or so. Audio hello, audio hello, audio hello, that's uh, just under a kilowatt right there, you see my lights dimming. So, actually, audio hello, hello, hello. Got the audio, the RF. Audio, grid current, put down the high voltage setting, higher voltage. Audio, hello, 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 about 12.50 right there, hello, hello, hello. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Audio, hello, hello, and it works. Okay, so I'm going to continue testing it on uh, 15 meters, 10 meters, as long as everything's okay, I'll take the covers off and show you everything I did. So I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm back with the completed TL922. I have both covers off. I'll show you everything I did. So I got my test tubes in there. The customer's ordering a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, and they're going to drop ship them to his house. Penta's an awesome company. Just great company. Just awesome. Can't say enough good stuff about them. So I had to replace both SO239s, the one the output didn't have great grip. I was going to leave the input one alone, but I had to remove that to get at something else, so I changed it at the same time. Put a Harbach filter cap board in, got the series glitch resistor, zip tied the wiring, put the meter protection diode in, added the strap over here, added the lead on the band switch for the 10 meter mod, took the front panel off to get the detent screw out. And I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Hey, okay, so here's the bottom. Let me grab my pointer. Added the hard box soft keyboard. Added the strap over here. Grounded the grids. The, ten, uh, the other half of the 10 meter mod. It's like a multi-step process. Not a quick thing like some amps. Check the Zener diode. That was good. The self-bias mod. Okay, so... <laughs> issue I had. Went to try to key it and there was no static plate current. Like, what is going on? So I started diagnosing it. Um, you know, the from the center tap the filament transformer back, you know, it figured maybe there uh, something the cathodes uh, open, the cathode return. So make a long story short, the contact wasn't making connection on the back relay for the biasing. So I had to take this piece of coax out. Well, I didn't take it all the way out. I just disconnected it and unzip tied everything and disconnected one of the leads and to disconnect this lead. And I pulled this whole assembly out. First, I tried cleaning it. I'm like, what's going on? You can't see it from the other end. So I don't know what this is. I'm not going to touch it. But one of the wires had been chewed by, I don't know if it was a mouse or something, but I, I put the... the the wire was okay, just a teeny bit of the insulation was taken off, so I put some silicone on it. This was in between the contact. Ugh, it's disgusting. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something to do with a mouse or something else, but... So, I had that all out. 
left all the leads connected and I cleaned the contacts really well so now it's perfect it's good to go you know less is more you know I have some uh, like I don't know, like two or so I think two more of these relays here but they're in parts amplifiers so when you start unsoldering things you know if I had to change it I would have but just had to clean the contacts you know so it just you start doing unnecessary things you know you open up a can of worms and then something can happen you know so less is more <laughs> so I tried talking the customer into the ARB box which would have been less but he wanted the soft key installed in the amp I used one of my hardbox boards and I, I removed the uh, traces on that side that's why it looks like that so it's in there nice and secure per the instructions Actually, they were, I think in the instructions it says perf board, so this is actually better. So everything's nice and tight, and everything's soldered nice, nice. Also got the new cap over here. And everything's zip tied. Everything, all the wiring is all done up nice, nice. So I also cleaned these switches with deoxid gold, the band switch with deoxid gold. I'm sorry, the input rotor switch, and then the band switch with deoxid gold, and the relay over here the TR relay with the oxid gold and obviously the relay back there that relay handles again the biasing and also the standby operate lamp on the front lamps so that's about it so if you need an amplifier repaired please feel free to give me a call this took forever because I, I was waiting on the caps so I have an ALEDB over here to my right and I'm waiting on caps for that too so that's all done. I just that's what I was working on yesterday. So just because I don't put a video on, like I said before, doesn't mean I'm working on something. Doesn't mean that I'm not working on something. So, um, yeah. But I was able to test it, and it's working as it should. Just need to put the caps in. So, well, I'll explain that when they come, and I put the video on. So, thanks again for watching. It has been a long day. Got up today at 4:30 a.m. and. Uh, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And again, my phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Time to relax. Get y'all later. 73.